We seem to talk a lot about corrosion prevention on Powerboat TV, and that's because it's simple maintenance you can do on your own, and doing it right can save you thousands of dollars. So today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to change out your sacrificial anodes on land and in the water. Sacrificial anodes are unpainted and exposed pieces of metal designed to wear away from the effects of corrosion or electrical fields within the water. Their main purpose is to protect your boat's mechanical parts from being corroded by sacrificing themselves rather than those more expensive parts. On a fiberglass boat, you'll find anodes on drive shafts, rudders, trim tabs. On a metal boat, there are usually anodes right on the hull. Now you may have heard of sacrificial anodes being referred to as zincs because that's what they were traditionally made from. These days it's aluminum and magnesium that are more often used to provide cathodic protection for less active metals. Each type does its job in a different environment and choosing the right one is crucial to providing maximum corrosion protection for your boat. Aluminum is the most versatile alloy, so it's best used in salt and brackish water. Martyr's aluminum premium anodes are pressure die casts and manufactured to meet ISO and even US military standard and will last up to 50% longer than traditional zinc anodes. Plus they weigh half as much as zinc and contain no cadmium, a toxic material found in traditional zincs. In fresh water, zinc can actually form a protective oxide layer that will prevent cathodic protection, so for fresh water only, magnesium anodes are the way to go. Also designed to exceed US military standard, Martyr's magnesium anodes can even help protect against stray current in the water caused by shore power in your boat or your neighbors. Martyr's magnesium fresh anodes come with a sticker saying fresh water only to make sure you don't use them in salt water where they'll disintegrate quickly. Martyr anodes come in single pieces or in kits designed to fit your engine and what they all have in common is they're all a heck of a lot cheaper to replace than the expensive parts that they protect. All your anodes should be checked for wear at least once a season to make sure they're still doing their job. When they're about 50% worn, it's time to replace your anodes. Otherwise, you could end up with metal parts looking pretty corroded. Thankfully, martyr anodes are designed to be easily replaced. Just remove the old one and screw in a new one in the same place. Although if your anodes are still looking like new after a few years, chances are they're not actually doing their job and should be swapped out for new ones. Make sure to check all the metal parts for worn anodes and replace the ones that need replacing. So I wasn't lying, that is a very easy self-maintenance project that you can do by yourself on land. What happens if you already launched your boat and you forgot to check your anodes this year? Or you see them and you realize that they need to change it? Well, Martyr boasts that theirs are pretty easy to change in the water as well. So we're gonna put that to the test right now. So the key to the underwater installation are these interlocking halves that fit together perfectly around the shaft. You can see I've got these little pink washers that'll hold the bolts in place. I've got a floaty on my Allen wrench. Only hard part should be holding my breath. Unlike a lot of other anodes, Martyr shaft anodes are held in place with just two bolts and can come in Allen or slotted heads, which makes underwater installation a breeze which is great if you get spooked underwater easily. They're also low profile and hydrodynamic and are designed for 100% contact with the shaft for the life of the product. Woo. Got her done. I mean, if I could hold my breath, that'd be really easy. Maybe I should learn to scuba dive. 